Alléluia. Praise the Lord. Alléluia. 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 Amen. My name is Shewan Doers. Welcome to today's day topic. The mark of the beast. Holy Ghost, do it again. Do it again in my life. Open my eyes to see Jesus that is seated upon the throne. Holy Ghost, do it again, do it again in my life. Open my eyes to see Jesus that is seated upon the Holy Ghost, do it again, do it again in my life. Open my eyes to see Jesus that is seated upon the throne. I know my Redeemer live 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 I know my Redeemer lives. I know that my Redeemer lives. I know he's not far from me. The mark of the beast is almost here, so you better start getting ready because the handwriting is written all over the world, all over the places. The handwriting of this mark of the beast is written all over the place. 
even a blind person will be able to see this mark because it is already all over they are advertising it they are implementing some of them now but get ready because the real mark of the days is almost here and we should be what we should be getting ready to deny them the mark of the base we should be ready to refuse to take the mark of the base because if you take this mark of the base you will never make heaven but hell so i come today to deliver the message about this mark of the base because it is already here almost here it is almost here it is all over the place and I'll open your eyes so that you'll be able to identify this mark of the beast. Because we have several ways to take this mark of the beast. And we should not take it for any reason. We should refuse it with our last blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, I'm going to read the Bible. I'm going to read Revelation 13, verse 7 to 8. Let me start from here. Revelation 13, verse 7 to 8. So, get your Bible and get ready to read with me, okay? So you understand why I am saying that the mark of the beast is almost here. And rapture has not taken place. Because a lot of preachers, a lot of pastors, GOs, and GLs are preaching that rapture will happen first before great tribulation and the church will not be able to get this uh, mark of the beast until after rapture and that is a lie from the pit of hell these pastors and geos that are saying this they are already working with the antichrist they are working with them side by side but they are pretending to be working for god and I'll open your eyes today. Praise the Lord. So, um, I'm going to read Revelation 13, 7 to 8. And it says, And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life, of the lamb okay whose name are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world so the antichrist will make war with the saint and not the left behind the antichrist will make war with the church with us and not the left behind the left behind are already sinners they didn't make it to rapture so why should the antichrist be making war with them they are already theirs so, Antichrist will make war with us, with the children of God, with the saint, with the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So, if you also get Revelation 13, if you get Revelation 13, verse 15 to 17, you will also see it. So, let's, let me get Revelation 13, 17. Revelation 13, 15 to 17 it says and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed and he caused all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name hallelujah hallelujah so let me talk about this revelation 13 verse 15 to 17 okay okay do you know that they have already started showcasing this mark of the beast somehow they have already started showcasing this beast during certain ceremonies, they have already started showcasing it. Example of it is the open ceremony of the Commonwealth Games, which took place on July 28, 2022. If you haven't seen it, go and see it. You will not even believe your eyes that what the Bible is saying is already coming to pass. 
the Bible prophecy is happening before our very eyes. What I just read concerning Revelation 13 verse 15 to 17 has already happened on that July 28th during the open ceremony of the Commonwealth Games. If you see the, the show, you will see a beast there. You will see them worshipping the beast. You will see them bowing to the beast. You will see the beast taking, you know, coming back to life, coming to life. Exactly as the Bible is saying it, exactly as the Bible prophesied it, it is already happening now before our eyes. And some people are still sleeping. Some people are still believing the lies that rapture will happen first. Why they have seen the handwork of this Antichrist. They have already started gradually. But the, the men man, the men beasts have not showed up yet. But they have already started doing small, small you know, background work. They have already started showcasing their images. They have already started showcasing this mark of the beast. When you are worshipping this beast, when you are bound down to this beast, when you are praising this beast, you are already, you have already taken the mark of the beast, according to the Bible. The Bible says that we cannot worship the beast. We cannot take the mark or the name. We cannot worship it. So, there are several ways that you can get this mark of the beast. And one of it is by worshipping this beast, this idol. Worshipping the image of a beast. And the example of that image of a beast is the one that they did on that July 28th. The open ceremony of the Commonwealth Games. That thing is the beast. That thing is the beast exactly as it is described in the Bible. And I have seen people that were worshipping it, praising it, performing a lot of satanic ritual. If you haven't seen it, go and see it. And after seeing it, cover yourself with the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But you need to see what is going on now. Because they are not hiding it anymore. They are not hiding it anymore. They have already started showing us that we are at the ending days. Not only at the ending days. It is just very close to what? Very, very close. The coming of our Lord Jesus Christ is soon. He can come at any minute because they have already started showcasing all this rubbish. So now I will read Revelation 13 verse 2. Revelation 13. Revelation 13 verse 2. And it says, And the beast which I saw was like unto leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and, and great authority. It is already here in the world. According to this Revelation 13 verse 2, the beast I saw is like unto what? A leopard. It is already here. Go to United Nations um, compound or premise or in front of United Nations and you will see this beast as it was described in the Bible. As it is described in the Bible, you will see the, the image of that beast. It is already there. They are not hiding it. And some people think that it does not make any, you know, you cannot connect all those dots. Start connecting all these dots. One plus one plus one plus one. And you will see that the mark of the beast is almost here. It is almost here. They have the beast already in front of the United Nations. That beast there is exactly as it is said in the Bible. The Bible prophesied it and it is now happening in our own eyes. We are already seeing it. It is happening before our very eyes. We cannot be sleeping as children of God. Because these children of devil are very, very busy now. They are very busy concocting concussion from the pit of hell. They are very busy planning how to bring about all this, the image of the beast. They are very busy planning our downfall. And so many Christians are sleeping. So many of them are talking rubbish. They are, caught, they are saying that it is just a conspiracy uh, theory. My dear, it is a conspiracy fact. All these things are facts because you can see them physically. All this example that I am, um, I am providing here, you can see them physically. So this is not conspiracy theory. They are conspiracy facts because they are here physically. Go to United Nations and you will see that beast that is like a, a leopard. You will see the beast as the Bible is saying 
exactly as the Bible is saying. It is already there in front of United Nations. So these people are what? The Antichrist. Please, if you can save this video, save it. Because this Facebook can delete it. They can delete this video because I am saying the truth and I will not hold anything. So they can go and delete this and give me a restriction. I don't care about their restriction. I am used to their restriction. But if you can save this video so that you will share it with your loved ones, so that you will be watching it and share it with your friends, your family, your loved ones, because they will delete this because I am providing a lot of evidence, physical evidence. So United Nations is one of the antichrists. Yes. Because if they have this beast in front of their building, they are telling you that they are what? One of the antichrists. And the Bible is telling us that they are several antichrists. But we have one major beast that will come. That one has not come yet. He has not shown himself to the public yet. But this uh, United Nations and some of them are already showing us that we are at the ending days. It is time. My sisters and brothers in Christ, wake up from your slumber. Because they are already telling us that they are about to take over the world. United Nations, you will see this beast as it is described in the Bible. Then the open ceremony of this commonwealth game that took place on July 28, 2022. You will see them worshipping the beast. You will see them bound to the beast. You will see them giving life to this beast. And the beast started walking. And start, you will see the eyes, you will see the beast walking when life was given unto the beast, as it is described according to the Bible. And some of you are still sleeping, thinking that rapture will come first before great tribulation. Don't know that we are already towards this great tribulation. We are already there. If you don't know that we are there, please listen to me and go and check all these things that I am providing because they are there physically. This is not in my dream. I did not see all these things in my dreams. They are physically here. We can see them with our own eyes. Okay, I'm going to read Revelation 14, verse 9 to 11. Revelation 14, verse 9 to 11. Are you ready? It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever and they have no rest and no day who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receive the mark of the beast here is the passion okay this is the end the bible is telling us the type of wrath that we fall upon anybody that we take the mark of the beast or that we worship the beast this is what the bible is saying you will, in short, you cannot make heaven. It is as simple as that. You will be tormented in hell forever and ever. You cannot go to heaven. You can never make heaven but hell. Hell is your final destination. If you are worshipping this beast that I saw them worshipping during the open ceremony of this commonwealth gate, that is worshipping the image of, of a beast. What do you think it is? It is not just a joke or a sport. That is real. When you are doing that kind of thing in front of the beast, bowing down to the beast, worshipping the beast, performing all those satanic rituals, what do you think you are doing? You are worshipping the image of the beast. You are already worshipping. You are already one of them. You are not one of the Lord. You are one of the Satan. Okay? You are one of his children. You are one of them. So now, I'm going to read this, uh, uh, Revelation 16 verse 2. Revelation 16, verse 2, and it says, And the first, it is talking about the angel, okay? So let me start from 1. Revelation 16, verse 1. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vice of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. 
and there fell a noisome and grievous saw upon the men which had which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship his image. Do you see it? Do you see it? Some people have taken the snake poison. You know what I mean by the snake poison? I will not mention the name because they will take this video down. You know what I mean by the snake poison? This thing, this, this solution. Some people, a lot of people have taken it because they refuse. They refuse to obey the warnings that is coming from God. God has been telling us for a long time, do not take this, do not take this, do not take it. Many people did not listen. They went and took it. And some of them have died. And some of them are alive, still going through the side effect of that poison that they have taken. And some of them are sick now with what? Monkeypox. Where do you think that that monkeypox comes from? That is from it. The monkeypox, this monkeypox that they are telling us story. This monkeypox is a byproduct of that snake poison. That is where it came from. Because the Bible verse that we just read, Revelation 16 verse 2 says that. If you have taken the, uh, the, the mark of the base, the angels will pour what? We pour something on you and you start having what? A grievous sore. You will have a sore on your body. Okay? Even though that that's snake poison, it is part of the it is part, part of the beast system. It is part of the beast system. We should not take it for any reason. It may not be the real mark. It might be the real mark. Okay? But we cannot take it. It is part of the beast system. Because after that one, now we come the microchip, which I will go into. So if you have not taken that poison, if you have not taken that dirty water, do not take it because you will, you will be tormented in the pit of hell. God is wanting us not to take it. I received a revelation that was 2020, um, around, I think, June or July, 2020, about this, about this um, snake poison. I made a post, several posts on Facebook. They deleted some of them. I made a video and posted it on YouTube. They deleted it. I am still preaching the same thing. Do not take it. If you have not taken it, please run from here. Run, run away from these things. Run away from these things because you will be tormented in hell. This is part of the beast system. That snake poison is part of them. Some people are calling us conspiracy theorists. You know that what we are talking is a conspiracy theory. It is a conspiracy fact. You have already seen the nine pages of the side effect that came out. Haven't you read the nine pages of the side effect that came out? Didn't you read it now? Go and read it. Go and read about that snake poison and about that nine pages that they released. You know it was by force. They did not want to release it because they know that they lied. They know that everything that they told us about that snake poison is a lie. And they wanted to hide it until 75 years later. Can you even believe it? It was the government that pushed them to deliver the nine pages of side effect. Go and read them. You guys, are, we are calling me um, a liar and uh, this is a conspiracy theory. It is not true. It is not. The, go and read the nine pages and go and see the video of some people that have taken it and they are dead. Go and see a lot of people that are still going through the side effect. And some of them now are suffering from this monkey pox. Go and save this video. Save this video because they will delete it. Save this video. They will delete it. I know they will delete it. And I know they will give me a restriction and I don't care. I want you to hear what I'm saying before they delete it. I want you to hear what I am saying before they delete it. I cannot go backward. I have to say it as it is. This is what God is telling me to come and deliver. And I will say the truth and nothing but the truth. So God will help us. If they want to give me 100 days restriction, they they give me. I do not care. If they close my Facebook, I will start another place. If they close my YouTube, I will start someplace else. I am deliver the truth and nothing but the truth. So you will hear me now. Okay? Save this video because they will delete it. I will also post this video on YouTube. I know they will delete it. I know they will give me a restriction. I don't care. Save this video now. So this monkey post that they are telling us they don't know where it is coming from. It has never been seen uh, in some countries where it has never been you know where it has never been before now they are saying it they they are lying this monkey pus is the side effect of that snake poison side effect of that snake poison that you have taken it is the side effect and a lot of side effect will be coming out 
That thing that so many people have taken will change their DNA. And some of them will turn into a zombie. I have received message. I have received revelation concerning this zombie. I will go into that. What I'm telling you now, you better listen. You guys are, are, are calling me liar and calling uh, all of us liars. You better listen now and take this into consideration. After this, you can go and do research to find out what I'm telling you, if it is real or if I am lying. And take all my messages, all my dreams, all my revelation to God in prayer for confirmation. Hallelujah. Take it to God to know the spirit that is talking through me. God is pushing me today to come and do this. God is pushing me today to come and deliver these messages. So I have to deliver a truthful messages. I cannot come here and lie or hide it. I am saying it as it is. That monkey pot is the side effect of that solution that you have taken, that solution that a lot of people have taken. That is it. That is where it is coming from. Okay? So now, so now let me read another uh, Bible verse because we are going to be reading Revelation. All the Bible verses that I'm reading today is coming from Revelation. Because that is where we are now. We are at the ending days and the ending of the Bible. That's where we are. And a lot of us, we witness this Antichrist. A lot of us, we witness their torture, their persecution. A lot of people will go through the killers, the beheading. If you refuse to take the mark, you will be killed. I am still going into that. Okay, I am still going into that. Okay, now listen. Do you know that the president, the president of America, signed the Microchip and Science Act into a law? Hey, when I saw this, I think I saw this like two days ago. Somebody sent it to me, and I used that opportunity to go and research to make sure that it is true. I did not even know it. So when I saw it, I said, "What? They are already ready. They are ready, and you are there sleeping." Biden administration, Biden himself, the president of America, has already signed Microchip and Science Act into a law. What is the meaning of this? Microchip will be produced in America. That is it. They will be making this microchip in America. I don't know if they will be making this in other countries. I don't know. I did not get that information. But the one that Biden signed is... They are bringing the production of this microchip in America. Hey, it is not the mark of the beast. What is this microchip for? No matter what they will tell you about this microchip, do not get it. I'm telling you now. They will use all kinds of lies to push people to get this. They will not tell you that this is the mark of the beast. They will never say that. Because if they say that, you will not, be able, you will not take it. You will refuse it. They will use lies. They will go corner corner. They will go different angles to push people to get this mark of the base. They can even say that if you take this, you will never die. You will never get sick. If you are sick, this thing will cure you. It might make you look younger. I don't know the type of concussion they will concoct. I'm just saying. They will come with different lies, with different concussion. They will come with all kinds of stories to tell you to go and take this mark of the base. The mark of the base, the microchip will be produced here in America. Hey, God forbid. And you guys are still sleeping. You are still waiting that rapture will come now and take you. No, we must go through this great tribulation before rapture will come at the middle of great tribulation. So go and get ready. Go and get ready how to suffer and how to be persecuted because all of us will go through it. God will hide some people, but majority of the people will be tortured. Majority of the people will be killed. The children of God will go through great tribulation and they are already making allowance. They are making way for this great tribulation. They are already making way for this mark of the beast. It will be produced in the land of America. Biden signed it into law. When did he sign it? He just signed it some days ago. I think maybe ninth, maybe ninth of uh, something. Uh, you know, he just signed this in like last week or some someday uh, sometime this week he just signed this thing and he said he will give a lot of people job that is people that will be working there will get job do not go and work in the factory that is manufacturing the mark of the base do not go there for any reason if you are working there you are already one of them you have already taken the mark you cannot work there you cannot go get a job there 
you cannot support them in any way because if you are supporting them then you are taking that mark of the beast you cannot work in any place that is manufacturing that microchip you cannot work there wherever they are manufacturing that snake poison you cannot work in that hospital we are we are as a nurse your job is to give that snake poison or injection you cannot work there some of us are not working i am a nurse i am a registered nurse and i am not working because i refuse to take that solution if you refuse to take the solution you cannot work in america that is why i'm not working one of the reasons i have two reasons and this is it i cannot work here unless i take the solution and i refuse to take the solution if hunger will kill me, let me die in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If anything will happen because I am not making money, because I am not working, because I cannot pay my bills, let it happen. Jesus has been taking care of me since I stopped working. That was two years ago. I stopped working two years ago. And I cannot even get a job now. Some of the jobs that I have applied for long ago are now asking me if i can come and work for them but i must get the solution i must get the solution i told them no they can keep their job let me drink only water i don't care if god will take my life because i am not eating it is better that i die in the name of god that i go and get a solution and go to hell it will not make any sense some of us are not working some of us nurses and doctors and healthcare workers are not working because we refuse to take that solution. That solution will, will change your DNA. That solution will turn you into a zombie. I am coming for that zombie. I'll tell I have already made a video concerning zombie because I have seen it in my revelation. So whatever I am preaching, I am doing it. I am not working as a nurse now. I am not working. I cannot pay a lot of bills. Okay, let it be there. If hunger will kill me, I am ready to die for Jesus Christ. You cannot go and take this solution in order to keep your job, in order to feed your family, in order to pay the mortgage and pay your rent. Refuse it and God will make a way for where there is no way. Hallelujah. He has been making a way for me. He has been making a way. It is not easy, but God has been making a way. As children of God, we must go through persecution. And I am going through my own persecution now for refusing to take that solution. I am already going through the persecution now because I cannot walk as a nurse now in the land of America. This is not a land of freedom. You are not free here unless you are dancing the type of music they are beating, the type of music that they are giving you, unless you are dancing the dance with them then you are free. But as far as you are serving the living God, you can never be free here. You can never be free any place anyway. So I refuse to take that solution. I refuse to take that snack poison because I do not want to die and go to hell. A lot of people, a lot of my family members, they have taken it. They refuse to listen to me. A lot of them, even some of my brothers, my whatever, you know, a lot of family members, they have taken this because they want to do what? Continue living like the world. They want to continue keeping their job. They want to support their family. They, it is good to support your family, but not in a demonic way. Not to get this solution in order to work and make money to support your family. No. If they refuse to give you the job, okay, God will make a way for you. God will make, even if you die because of hunger, you are going to heaven. Hallelujah. You are going to heaven even if you die. As far as you are refusing all this rubbish that is coming from the Antichrist. Because they are still coming. They will still get a lot of them. They will still manufacture more, more solution, And even the pills. These ones are still coming. They are still coming. And they will use lies to sell it to people. They will use lies to give it to people. They will not tell you what it is. They will lie. They have already lied. And they will continue lying. Because they want to, as, as they said, too much people are living in the world. And they want to help the devil to destroy the world. Refuse those mark of the beast. Refuse that snake poison. Refuse that dirty water and receive your freedom. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. So we should be uh, getting ready to be persecuted. We should. And somebody like me and some other people are already going through that persecution. No job, no, no work, no money. You cannot do anything. You cannot make money. If you did not take them if you did not take the solution and the same thing will happen with the mark of the beast the microchip which they
they have already signed that it will be made in America. So this microchip will be American made microchip. This is it. You cannot take it for any reason. You cannot work there for any reason. You cannot do that. If you are doing it, you are already taking the mark of the beast. You are already taking the mark of the beast. Okay? You are already taking the mark of the beast and we cannot take it. So, let us read Revelation 20 verse 4. Revelation 20 verse 4, it says, And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Christ, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon his forehead, upon their foreheads, or in their hands, and they live and reign with Christ a thousand years. Hey! You are the mighty man in battle. El Shaddai. You are the mighty man in battle. Jehovah Nisi. You are the mighty man in battle. El Shaddai. You are the mighty man in battle. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. So when you refuse to take the mark of the beast, you will be seated with Jesus Christ and reign for a thousand years. You will go to heaven, hallelujah. But when you take the mark of the beast, you are condemned forever and ever with devil. You are condemned. You will be tortured. You will be tortured forever and ever in the pit of hell. Hey! We refuse to be tortured. We refuse to be deceived. A lot of Pastors, preachers, GOs and GS are also working for this Antichrist. They are working with them and they are working for them. They are working hand to hand, hand in hand. They are working with them. They cannot be trusted. You see, any pastor or preacher or GO or GS that is supporting that solution hmm, is already an Antichrist himself. I'm telling you the truth. Any pastor G-O, G-S, preacher. Hey, whether he is your favorite preacher, whether he is from mega church, whether he is your brother, and he is supporting this solution, that person is already working with the Antichrist. Okay, and the same way they are working with the Antichrist now by encouraging their members, their uh, parishioners, to go and take the solution for whatever reason. This is the same way that they will support this mark of the base. This is the same way they will support this microchip. This is the same way. I used to attend Deeper Life Bible Church. I attended it for about three years. And I stopped attending Deeper Life. That was August 15, 2021, last year. When I stopped, why did I stop worshiping? Not only that God showed me, Pastor Kumi, four times in my revelation. And this revelation is not talking good about Kumi. This revelation is telling me that Kumi is not serving God anymore. I was really surprised to receive this four revelation last year, which means God wanted me to get up from that deeper life by showing me back to back four revelation about Pastor Kumi. Pastor Kumi and Olukoya, they used to be my favorite pastors. Two of them. Olukoya is no longer serving God. If you like, you can throw any kind of atomic bomb. I don't care. When I am releasing the message that is coming from God, I will not care. What anybody will say about me, I don't care whether you will believe. I don't care whether you will not believe. The only thing you need to do, take it to God in prayer. Because the Bible says that we must examine every spirit. To know which spirit that is coming from God. Go and examine the spirit that is speaking through me. Because I am releasing a lot of information now. I used to worship Olukoya. I, no, not Olukoya, sorry. I used to worship with Olukoya. I used to worship with Mountain, uh, mountain, of, mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministries for some years. Until my sister received a revelation about Olukoya. I have already made a, a video about this, but I will repeat it again. My sister saw two of us in her dream going to visit Olukoya because I have visited Olukoya in Nigeria 
I visited with my sister some years ago. So in this dream, my sister saw two of us visiting Olukoya again. And the surrounding, the compound was very dirty. It was a lot of death. My sister said I was the one in her dream condemning the whole place. I was saying, look at the death. Heap and heap and heap of death all over the place. So we started coming inside the office to, to see Pastor Olukoya. We did not see Olukoya. We saw demons, several demons in his office. According to my sister, Revelation. My sister is also a prophetess. So she told me that I was the one telling her, let us get her from this office, from this Olukoya office, because it is full of demons. Let us get her from this office. And she woke up from the dream. When she told me this dream, because I never believe when people are condemning people, unless I have an evidence. If I don't have any evidence, I will not come and talk against anybody. I will not come and call anybody false or cultic or compromise. I must have some evidence, either physical evidence or revelation. My sister told me this when he woke up. <laughs> Immediately, I stopped attending Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministries. So I know that God is telling me to stop. Because I cannot be worshipping with somebody, okay, who is not serving God. So that is when God revealed to my sister that Olukoya is not serving God anymore. When we went to her office and we saw only demons, what do you think? We did not see Olukoya in that revelation. It was only demons. Because Olukoya is working with the demons. If you like condemn me i don't care i have already shared this several times i have made several posts on facebook and on youtube and i am naming their names because god is pushing me to come and deliver these messages so i cannot say no as a worker of god you will say the truth and nothing but the truth so god will help you if you come and lie god will pursue you and destroy you that is why i left mountain of fire and miracle ministers after that i started worshiping with deeper life bible church until last year, when God showed me this for revelation about Kumi, Kumi, I was surprised. I was still going to deeper life because I didn't, you know, not that I didn't believe it. Is that I was saying to myself, if I stop attending deeper life, what, where will I worship? Which church will I start worshiping? Because as I said, these are the only two churches that I believe in, you know, and God. Is revealing things about these two churches saying something evil that they are doing so after God showed me these four things um, about Kumi I continue going until that August 15 2021 last year when the pastor was preaching about rapture and other things when he finished he asked if anybody has any question and I was the only one that raised my hand up and I asked them, why are they not teaching us or telling us to avoid the mark of the beast, to avoid this micro -ship? Because it is looking like the mark of the beast, according to Revelation 13. The pastor said, no, deeper life is not teaching about a great tribulation or about a micro -ship. They are not preaching against it because they say that rapture will happen first. Children of God will not go through great tribulation. The church will not go through great tribulation. That Antichrist will make war with the left behind. That is not what the Bible is saying. When you read the Revelation 13, it is saying that the Antichrist will make war with the saints. But deeper, deeper life is telling us that it's not the saints. That it is the left behind. Okay, they say that the microchip even is not the mark of the beast. Unless rapture happened first. This is what they were saying in the church on August 15, 2021, where I am staying in America. It is there. People were hearing what I was saying. People were watching us from Zoom. And I asked them, you guys are not teaching us this. They say, no, they are not teaching it. Because children of God will not go through persecution. Children of God will not go through great tribulation. That the only thing that we are working for is rapture. 
and the other uh, the other pastor because there were two pastors the other one said uh, well even the solution you know the solution that i just told you not to take the other one said even the solution that anything that they are saying about it is a lie all this video that is condemning this uh, the solution is, is a lie that we should go and get it and nothing will happen inside the church of deeper life on august 15 2021 they say that we can go and get it because nothing will happen. And these two pastors, they have already taken it by them. Because they were telling me to go and get, take it. Uh, my children need to go and take it. All of us need to go and take it because it is good. I told them no over my dead body. And I stopped worshipping with them that day. That was the day I quit the Bible church. Because they are contradicting the Bible. So as a member of deeper life, don't close your eyes. Take that Bible and read and ask the Holy Spirit to interpret it. Deeper life, they know what they are doing. Don't tell me that they don't know. They don't know that we, we should go through great tribulation. That we, listen, they are Bible church. They read Bible, but they turn it upside down when they are interpreting it to suit their evil ways. Why are they doing that? Because of Pastor Kumi. Pastor Kumi is working with Antichrist. I have to say it. I have to be honest. The whole thing is happening because Pastor Kumiye is supporting that, that uh, solution. That's net poison. If you read an article written by Pastor Kumiye himself on April 5th, 2021, you will see where he said that it is good that the whole cities we are locked down for the production of that snake poison because it is good. He has already said everything that he will say. He is already supporting it. He will not come and tell you, go and get it. Go. He is already, by the way he talks, you know already he is supporting it. That is why his pastors are pushing for it, are pushing us to go and get it. That is why the pastors are supporting it. Are supporting it. Because it is coming from the head, and the head is Pastor Kumi. Pastor Kumi is behind it. A lot of people are going to help. Are going to hell because of this pastor Kumi and his pastors. Because of this deeper life church that is supposed to be recruiting souls for the kingdom of God. They are busy recruiting souls for the kingdom of devil. Don't tell me they don't know. They know because Pastor Kumi knows exactly what he's doing. I am praying for him to repent. I am praying for Olukoya to repent. I am praying for all of them to repent before it is too late because if they die in this sense of lying the sense of taking people to hell they will go to hell pastor kumi has suffered have worked all his life and now he does not want to end well he does not want he does not want to end well he is not serving god anymore don't think that he doesn't know what he's doing he has sold his soul to the devil olukoya also paul rica also a lot of them i have mentioned them a lot of them on my Facebook. These people, they know what they are doing. I, I am praying for them to repent. But some of them will not repent. Because, you know, they know what they are doing. They have already received the gift. The gift that the devil gave them for making them famous. Some of them receive wealth. As you can see, they are rich. You can see they are rich. They are famous. Of course. That is, when you sell your soul, you will be famous. You will be big. You will be rich. This is one of the conditions. The devil will make you rich. But when you die, you are going back to that devil that is making you rich. We should get away from the word. You should not like what the word is loving. If you love the word, the word of the Father is not in you. Hallelujah. The love of the Father is not in you, according to the Bible. So, deeper life is supporting this snake poison. Why I am saying this? Because I was a former member of deeper life. And they try to get me to go and get this. They try to get me and my children to go and get it. But I refused. I refused only by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. I refused. Because the Bible says that the Antichrist will make war with the saints. And they are saying that the Antichrist will make war with the left behind. That is not what the Bible says. They are lying. They are lying and they know what they are doing. And the devil is going around now doing what? Marking them. Marking them. See, 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 on their forehead. As far as you are still in these churches, you cannot make heaven. You cannot make heaven. You can tell me where you don't believe in this solution, but you cannot live a deeper life, or you cannot live mountain of fire because uh, you still, you know, uh, you are not doing some of the evils they are doing. You are a member of them. You are one of them. You are already one of them by staying in their church. So that is why I left deeper life last year because 
I cannot stay in any church that is contradicting the Bible. I cannot stay in any church that is pushing for this solution and encouraging it. I know it will happen. Because that uh, July 2020, when I received a revelation about that snake poison, it took place in a church. That revelation took place in the church. It took place in the church. They, they get some of those hair care workers, they came to give that snake poison right inside the church. I, I was one of the two people that didn't take it. My sister was also there and I was there. They came with a bottle. Let me tell you how the dream happened. So in that dream, I went to one big building. It happened that there, there will be a church there. So we came to this building for church. We went upstairs for the church, for the service. So after the service, everybody went downstairs on the first floor to receive this solution. I was there sitting down. The healthcare workers were also there. They were sitting facing us while we are sitting like this, facing them. There was a very big table in, in, in between us. And one man came with a bottle of uh, that solution. He came and kept it on the floor and he said, Oh, Chin, where you came today, you see, we have been waiting for you and you haven't come. And today that you are here, we are so ha happy that you are here. And today you will get your own solution. And I said, No. I pick up that bottle of that solution. I say, you see the solution. I am not getting it. I don't want expensive solution. I don't want any solution in my body. And I roll the bottle towards the hair care workers, like back to the sender. I don't want it. The bottle broke into pieces. The bottle of that solution broke into pieces. Everybody was like, oh, at the same time. Everybody were looking at me. They could not say a word because they could not believe that I would br break that bottle, that expensive solution. Everybody was looking at me, at me like uh, with their mouth wide open. I told my sister, let us get out of here before they beat us up. We left. We went to another room. There was nobody in that room. I told my sister, go and get a taxi. Why I am waiting in this room? Because we need to go home before they start beating us up because I broke the bottle. So I went to that room and sat down. One of my former co-workers also was there. I saw a lot of people there. Some, some of my friends were there. Some of my co-workers were there. A lot of people were there. So this co-worker, a male from Nigeria, he came to that room and he said, Oh, Chiwe, go and get the solution. It is good for you. I said, No, it is not good for me. And I opened my eyes. It took place in the church. And from that day, I started preaching against it because God has already condemned it in the spirit realm. It took place in the church. I started telling people that this thing will come to the church. If you are church, start getting this thing in your church. Please run away. It happens. It is still happening now. And this revelation has already come to pass. Because so many churches started inviting this healthcare personnel to come and give this solution. Inside the church, this is not a church of God. This is the church of Satan. Wherever they are giving this place is already condemned. And if you are still a member of this church, pack your bag and get out. You might as well start worshiping God in your house. If God has not directed you to a godly church to attend, please stay in your own house and start worshiping God. Stay in your own houses and start worshiping and serving the living God. Because some of these churches, they have compromised. And some of them are worshiping Satan. You may not know. They are preaching holiness. They are wearing holy, godly outfit. They don't wear jewelry. They don't wear makeup. They don't wear jewelry anymore. But they are not worshiping God in spirit and in truth. They are lying. Physically, they are lying. Inside, they are serving the devil behind closed doors. In the spirit, they are serving the devil behind closed doors. <clears throat> so you have to look deep before you read. Because this is a holiness church. Does not mean that God has approved it. Does not mean that they are still serving God. Some holiness churches before that used to be holy are no longer holy. Because they have been sold the owner sold their souls to the devil and when they sell their soul they will do everything to keep you there you will not believe you will not believe people like me because you believe they are preaching against sins they are preaching against jezebel and marine kingdom properties they are preaching against this but look there is another way where they are getting you there is another way where they are contradicting the bible and they will get you in that way they will get you in that way. We cannot be deceived. We refuse to be deceived by this false, fake, occultist, and, and uh, compromised pastor. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. 
So you have to open your eyes now. A lot of churches have already joined them, especially the mega churches. Hey, these mega churches, they are worshiping the devil, almost all of them. Even some of these small ones too. Because the small ones want to be big, like the mega churches. So some of them are doing evils. Some of them are burying human beings to draw attention to themselves, to draw the crowd to their church. Some of them are performing all kinds of satanic rituals. Some of them have buried human beings, human breasts, legs, head, even in their own churches. Some of them have uh, water, marine kingdom. Inside their churches, you cannot see them physically, but spiritually. If God wants to open your eyes spiritually, you will be able to see it. I have seen a lot of things in the spirit that I didn't know exist. When you go to that place, you will see a land. But God has told me that that place is a marine kingdom. And in the spirit, God showed me water and showed me mommy water or my men swimming in the water. And when I get there, they left. My presence, the presence of God that came with me, chased them away. And this is a land where people are cultivating maybe cocoa yam, cassava yam. But it happened to be a marine kingdom next to our house, next to my father's house. And God showed it to me one day. I saw myself going to that farm. When I get there, I saw water. Instead of a land, I saw water. And I saw mommy water, this mermaid and one native daughter, they were swimming in that water. When I came there, I said, ah, look at these people that are swimming in this land. What are they doing in this land? They came out from that land by force, by fire. God chased them away. That is a marine kingdom. It can be any place. And some of these false and occultic pastors, they have it even in their own bedroom. They have it even in their churches. They have it around. You may not see it unless God opens your eyes. I have already mentioned their names on Facebook, and I will not stop until all of you get out from those demonic churches. But you can take the message to God in prayer for confirmation. Some of you don't want to pray. Some of you do not want to pray. When you pray and ask God, God will show you the same thing that he is showing me. God will show you whatever that he wants to show you. If you want to know, God says that we should ask and we shall receive. Seek and we shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. Have you done any of those things? Go and pray. Take all these my messages, all these revelations and dreams and teaching. Take them to God and God will open your eyes. I am here to deliver a message and I know that I might receive a strike. I might receive 30 day strike from Facebook. I don't care. I am, that is my, my, my preaching today is to get you guys to see that this Antichrist, they are already here. They are here and they have already started making a war with the saints and not the left behind. That's why I am bringing these messages. Know you fully well that I can be restricted. I can be given a warning or restricted from a posting. On Facebook for 30 days or more and I don't care because the truth must be heard the truth must be told it is only the truth that can set us free hallelujah so if you are still at uh, attending mountain of fire deeper life if you are uh, still attending Paul Rica's church uh, Chris if you are still attending some of those churches deeper life redeemed church uh, Christ embassy Please take my messages to God in prayer and come back with your testimony. A lot of people have testified. These, we are some of the people that used to call me a liar. I told them to go and pray. They prayed and God showed them even worse things. They came to me like they could not even believe their eyes. What God showed them concerning that man of God, they used to call man of God. What God showed them concerning Olukoya. Somebody testified to me what he saw about Olukoya. After I exposed him on Facebook, they called me all kinds of names. I told them to take it to God in prayer. And this lady came back and told me that she can't even believe what she saw. And I believe she, she, she was like a member of Mountain of Fire too. She could not believe it. Because God came and showed her even more things. And she ran away. Okay? So I am telling you the same thing. Take my messages to God. Take my preaching to God. And come back with your own testimony. You will be surprised. A lot of these people are hiding in the name of G.O., in the name of G.S., in the name of pastors, in the name of preacher. But their job is to recruit souls for the kingdom of devil. For the kingdom of devil. Their aim is to recruit souls. Keep away from those preachers. And one of them is King Sile Obani. King Sile Obani. Keep away from him. Keep away from his book. Stop reading all those false and useless books. 
I have already exposed him on my Facebook. Stop following Kingsley Oban. As I said, I am mentioning a lot of names. I will mention a lot of people. I have already mentioned Kumi and Bible, Kumi and uh, Deeper Life Bible Church, Olukoye, and that a mountain of fire. Pastor Paul Rika, this one is an uh, agent of Satan. Keep away from him. Okay. Kingsley Uban, keep an eye from Kingsley and his book. Those books are useless and demonic books. He wrote a book saying that God can make a mistake. Can you believe? God can make a mistake and you guys are still following him. You guys are fighting for him. He is an agent of Satan. I have exposed him on my Facebook. Go and read the post because I went in detail with some evidence. A lot of people are not worshipping God. Some of them started well, but they are not ending well because they have sold their souls. And when you sell their souls, it will be very hard to come out from the deed of hell. It will be very hard for the devil to leave you alone. You sold your soul for fair, to be firm, to be famous. You sold your soul for fame. You sold your soul for wealth. You sold your soul to be famous, to draw crowd to your church, to draw crowd to you. You must pay the price by fire, by thunder, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So stop following all those occultic and false pastors. Take your pastor to God in prayer and ask God if that pastor is still serving God. Or take that your church to God in prayer and ask God if that your church is a God of a church of God. Take them to God in prayer and receive your and receive your your answers, receive your dreams, receive your revelations. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. So Antichrist will make war with the saints and not the leftover. They are already here. The Antichrist, they are already here showcasing their image. They are already here showcasing those uh, images of uh, the beast. As I said, as I said before, those images, when you go to Google or YouTube, you can find them. They are already there. When you go, and watch this open ceremony of this commonwealth game, you will see the image of the beast. You will see them worshipping the image of the beast. You will see the image of the beast coming alive and start working. You will see it with your own eyes. If you go to United Nations, you will see that image of the beast that looks like a leopard. It is already there. And Bible prophecy is doing what? It's happening before our very eyes and so people are sleeping go and get ready get ready because they are getting ready in the spirit realm they are very busy they are very busy now getting ready they are getting ready to come and persecute the christians and persecute the church and persecute the the saint they are coming very soon but we cannot take that mark of the base for any reason for any reason for any reason, you cannot take the mark of the beast. And if you refuse the mark, you will be killed. You will be beheaded. I have already received a revelation about it. I saw them killing people, cutting their head in one of the revelations. I have already made a video. I have posted it on Facebook and on YouTube. They have started killing in the spirit realm. That's what I saw in the spirit realm. I saw them with this bullet on machine. You know that they used to kill people in the olden days it will also be used again during the antichrist regime and they are already making a way for their coming for their appearance for the appearance of the main base they are already making a way for it and the handwriting is written all over the place if you don't take the mark of the beast you will be killed you rather be killed and go to heaven than take the mark of the beast and still go to hell so I am warning you, do not take the mark of the beast. Do not worship the image of the beast. Do not take that solution. Do not try to keep your job by taking that solution. Because you will not make heaven. Refuse that job and Christ will make a way for you. Christ is making a way for me. I refuse the, the solution. Two years ago, I am still refusing it now. Because some people are still contacting me. Do I want to work with them, but I must get a solution? And I told them, no. Keep that your job. I don't want it. I don't want any job that is coming from hell. I don't want the job. God has been taking care of me since I stopped working. I stopped working two years ago. 
because of that solution. And God is making a way for me for where many people don't even think that way should be open. God is making a way for where there is no way. Hallelujah. And God will also make a way for you. When you are working for God, when you are fighting for God, God will be fighting for you. Hallelujah. God will be protecting you. God will be fighting your battles. God will not leave you or abandon you on the way. God will follow you until the very end. Hold strong. Hold. Hold God very strong, please, until the very end. Do not fall. Do not fall. Do not fall to the world. When you fall, get up and continue running until the very end. Do not take that solution. It is not over yet. They will still go house by house. They will still go from one house to the other. I have received a revelation. I have made a post. I have made a video. They came to my house in that dream to give me the solution because they know they know they know some of us that have not taken the solution they know where we live they know our phone number and they have been calling me in real life to go and take it and when i asked them why are they calling me in the first place they said my name is on their list my name is on their list as an army of God, of course, my name will be on their list. Because I am fighting them. I am fighting their lies, their evils. So my name is on their list. That's what they told me. When they call me and I ask them, why are you calling me in the first place? They say my name is on their list. And these are government people. From the government of America. That's where they call came from. From the CDC themselves. They are calling people like us to go and drink the dirty water. To go and take the dirty water. And I refused. And I told them not to ever call me again. They called me like five times this year. I refused to pick. They told me my name is on their list. So when they start going house to house, they know exactly where they will go. In my dream, I saw them. They came to my house. And I ran away from the backyard. They did not get me. I have seen myself in Nigeria. It will also come to the whole world. It will get to Nigeria. I have seen myself in my father's Town, very close to my father's house and I saw the same um, the same type of people with black clothing the same type of um, antichrist police in black uniform in my father's town very close to my father's house they were going house to house even in Nigeria and I escaped again I have been escaping because they have been coming to get me and I have been escaping in my dream. This will come to pass. If you are in Nigeria and you think, oh, well, it will not get to Nigeria because, you know, it is, um, they will not cooperate. They will cooperate when the Antichrist take over. When they take over, Nigeria government is already supporting them. So everybody, all these govern, uh, governors and whatever, they will start supporting them. Are they not supporting them now? Are they not telling you to go and get a solution in Nigeria? Didn't they say that? Why do you think that it will not come to Nigeria? It will come, but some places are worse than the other. America is worse to stay during the Antichrist regime. Europe is also not good. Canada is not good. Africa will be better because you have a lot of places to hide. In America, you cannot hide any place. There is no place for you to hide. They know you. They know where you are living. They know your phone number. They know you. They can monitor you from far away. So there is no place to hide. So, so many people will die. So many people will refuse to take the mark in America and they will be killed. Unless you want to go to hell. Because a lot of people will be captured in these places. A lot of people will be captured. Okay, because there is no place to hide in these places. They are very, you know, um, they have this rich technology that can pinpoint you. And they will come when you are still sleeping. Like the one that I saw in my revelation. It was early in the morning. When they know that people are still sleeping. That's when they came to my house. In my dream. To give me the solution. I abandoned everybody. My children, my husband. I ran away. You have to run. Salvation is personal. We appreciate to recruit souls for God. But remember that salvation is personal. Because some of your children will take it. Some of your husband. Some uh, wives will take it. And the other person may not take it. So, because your husband has taken it. Please don't go and take it. Because your wife has taken it, don't go and take it. Salvation is personal. Start running this race by yourself. If your wife is not standing with you, then you cannot stand with her. I'm telling you, time is coming. 
time is coming when we will leave the house for people that have taken it and run for our life because the bible said that these children or your parents or your brothers or your sisters they will report you to the authority to be killed according to the bible and so don't tell me oh this your son is very good and very sweet he will never do that you don't know when they start taking that solution it will change their head they will be controlled under the influence of this uh, solution so time is coming when some of us will run away we run away from people that have taken it time is coming when we will run away and they will not know our whereabouts if you tell them you're aware about why you're running in the first place time is coming but ask god to give you the grace to withstand what is coming ask god to make a way for where there is no way ask god to give you his strength and his fire and protect you hallelujah because it is going to be horrible and terrible it is going to be horrible hell hell on earth they have already making a way now. As you can see, you have seen the beast. Two beasts already. You have already seen it. And this microchip will be produced in America. The law has been signed on Tuesday by the president of America. It will be produced in America. Microchip. Some people think that we are making all these things up. Some people think we are crazy. Yes, I am crazy for it. I am crazy for God. I am very, very crazy. I am not normal because our God is not a normal God. You have to be like him to make heaven. You have to be crazy. You have to be crazy and abandon the world. And it is already happening in our own time. It is happening right now. Hallelujah. Please don't fall. Don't fall to their sweet talk because they are going to talk. They are going to sugarcoat all the evils and make it to sound good, to sound sweet. Don't buy it. They can never be trusted. We cannot trust them again. Because the one that they have produced, a lot of people already are dead. Some people are still going through the side effects. So they cannot be trusted. We can never trust them. Excuse me. They can never be trusted. They are lying. They are working for their father. Even going to the hospital now, I don't feel like going to the hospital. If I am sick, unless it is terrible, that is the only time I go to the hospital. Even though that I am a nurse, what is happening in the hospital, the devil is using them. If you are not awake doing certain things, they can even give it to you. So that's why I am very, very careful now. I don't go every place. I don't go every place, even to see my doctor. Unless it is unless i really really need it minus that i will talk to him on the phone we cannot trust a lot of people some people you cannot trust them some people cannot trust their mother their father their children you see a lot of things that is happening in the world and you think that those children or that your mother or your father cannot sell you if he or she has taken the mark of the beast they will expose you they will call the authority and report you according to the bible to be killed even though that he is your son or she is your mother or your sister or brother they will call and report you to the authority nobody will be behaving normal again everybody will be behaving abnormal that's why i am not behaving normal i am not behaving normal because very soon everybody will not be behaving normal you will see people that will sell their mother their father to the authority to come and get them and kill because they refuse to take the mark of the base so why should i be acting normal i'm not normal i cannot be normal you cannot be normal you are only a normal person when you are in the world when you are dancing with the world dancing to their music when you are agreeing to every single thing they are saying when you are living a wordless and a ungodly lifestyle that is the only time you are normal when you are behaving like the world you are normal when you are talking like me they call us crazy yes i am crazy a good crazy a good one i am crazy for good not bad one hallelujah we cannot fall we cannot fall we cannot fall hold on hold on to jesus christ until the very end okay fight fight this good fight because you will win at last you will make heaven fight it is going to be tough it's going to be horrible and terrible it's going to be intense it is still good now very soon very soon you will not believe your eyes when they finish manufacturing this microchip that's when you will see the antichrist now they have already signed a law to bring this manufacturing here in america and make it 
right and start making this a uh, microchip very soon you will know what i'm talking if it is a true or a lie very soon you will know what i'm talking if it is true or lie you will know the handwriting is all over the place some people don't want to see some people don't want to believe some people don't want to see it some people don't want to believe you better repent now repent from your sins repent from all kinds of sins Repent from wearing Jezebel and Marine Kingdom properties. Repent. Repent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and give your life to God. Repent and start working for God because God is looking for workers. Okay, the fruits are very ripe, but the laborers are very few. Please, start preaching. Start preaching the undiluted gospel. Whoever that want to hear or listen, let them listen. Whoever that don't want to listen, let them don't listen. Now is not the time to continue babying a lukewarm Christian. If they refuse to catch fire and be hot, then leave them alone and continue going. Now is not a time. Because if they are not cold or hot, God himself will spit them out from his mouth. So me, myself, I will spit you out of my mouth. If I'm trying to bring you up, open your eyes with all those uh, chapters in the Bible and physical evidence. And you are still um, talking whatever you are talking. I will just bypass you and continue going. Because I have a lot of work. We have a lot of work. Too much work. We have a lot of work. We need to go out to the street. We need to go to the market, to the store, wherever. We need to start preaching the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. We need to start working now. We need to start working because God is expecting us to be working for him. Don't sit down. Use that to your phone. Start making some call and start preaching. Start preaching the undiluted gospel according to the Bible. Use the Bible because what I am teaching you is in the Bible. Whatever that I'm telling you, all this revelation that we read, they are in the Bible. But they are coming to pass now. Physically, they are coming to pass. We shall not be deceived. The Bible said that even the elect, if it is not possible, that the elect will be deceived. No. We refuse to be deceived. As the good elect, we cannot be deceived. It's only the lukewarmers and good able Christians that can be received. They better catch the fire of the Holy Spirit now and be hot. God needs hot. God needs people that are hot, not people that are cold or lukewarm. We must, we must be hot. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. We must be hot in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Praise Master Jesus Christ. So it is time to repent, 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 repent from your sin. Repent from anyhow that you are sinning, anyhow you are behaving that is not right in the eyes of God. Now is the time to repent and forsake those your evil ways and run to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Draw me nearer, nearer to
I know my name, 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 my name